Welcome back to Triple Podcast, and today, my New Orleans Saints have unveiled their new head coach, and to everyone's surprise, it's Dennis Allen. I mean, Isha, was there any doubt in your mind this wasn't going to be Dennis Allen? Yep, I had a pretty good feeling that it was going to be Dennis Allen. I did not have much doubt what he's done to the defense, really transforming it, and transforming New Orleans' identity from a very offensive-focused Drew Brees, Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara-type team to a really well-balanced team, and he, I feel like he's going to do wonders for New Orleans. I mean, that defense has, has carried this team. Like, uh, last, the couple, for the past two, three seasons, so like the past two years to Drew Brees, mm-hmm. um, when he got hurt, the defense just became top five elite, like Chicago Bears little defense, and when Drew Brees came back, it was like, oh, let's regress back to normal. Last year, they took a step in the top five, and this year, they were just, in my opinion, the best defense in football. Like, you look at the Bills against the Chiefs. I mean, the, the Saints defense would not have done that. The Saints defense was on the court field every single minute because their offense the, literally was so bad. Like, their offense was, like, the only offense that was worse than the Saints was the Chicago Bears in terms of passing. That is so horrendous. Like, the fact that you're in, in contention with the Chicago Bears and the defense was still that good and they were still so close to the playoffs— um, but the, the real reason why they did this, this uh, hire is to keep the, the culture and the continuity. Because when Sean Payne came in 2006, he brought in Dennis Allen. Dennis Allen's been there off and on for the past 16 years. I think he's been there for 12 of the last 16 years. And he's really brought in that culture. And, and if you hire someone outside, like a Bietemi or a Brian Flores, most likely they're going to have their own coaching changes. Um, and you're going to disrupt the culture of, the, of this team, which is which is really predicated about it. It's camaraderie, it's teamwork, and, and that's really been the mentality of this team for the past couple of seasons. And trying to disrupt that would be very detrimental to a team. And I feel like that's probably one of the reasons why they, they promoted Dennis Allen. Uh, and you also, hiring from within is a really rare practice because either a coach gets fired and he takes his staff with him, or they just weren't good enough to begin with. There's not a, often where a, a coach steps down and you get to hire from within. So. I think Dennis Allen's going to be a good. Hire. It's not. It's not sexy. It's not flashy. You're not going to. You're probably not going to Super Bowl with Dennis Allen, but he's going to get results. I mean, mm-hmm. he'll bring them to the next step. And as a Saints fan, you, you worry about going back to the, the dark ages of, of old Saints. But with Dennis Allen, that's not going to happen. If you brought in a Bietemi, sure you have a higher ceiling. Sure you could win a Super Bowl, but you get a lot more stability with someone like Dennis Allen. And, and I have a lot of doubts on Bietemi. Oh, okay, that's a different conversation, but. Totally different conversation. Let's go back to Dennis Allen. My philosophy is go for an offensive coach all of the time. Look at at the Final Four this year. All offense. McVay, Shanahan, Reed, Zach Taylor. All offensive guys. And my reason is because if you have a great offense and you're a defensive defensive head coach, your OC is gone. And now you have no offense. And that is something that's more dangerous than losing your defensive coordinator. But if you're the Saints... You have Pete Carmichael, who's been there for 16 years, uh, willingly declined the head coaching job. Like, he has he entrenched himself. He's like, I'm the OC. That's my job. I'm going to be here with the Saints. I'm going to be coaching. I don't want the head coach. You have that offensive stability. So you don't have to worry about that when, when hiring a coach. And he had one season where he was the lead play caller when Sean Payne was suspended. And he was fantastic. I mean, they had one game I think they beat the Colts like 60 to 3. Like, that was a—I don't have the numbers on that, but that was a, a, a pretty strong season for the Saints that year. So I'll look mm-hmm. that up if you yeah. want to keep talking about your thoughts on the trade, uh, thoughts on the hiring, and if there were any other names that, that you would have thought would be in contention for that job. Yeah, I think that given—look, I'm, I'm a Falcons fan, but I do admire a lot from the Saints front office. And I think well, number you one— to, it, Your GM is a former Saints guy. Yeah, that's true, but— I think their ability to their ability for their guys to stay in the organization, even when someone as notable as Sean Payton leaves, says a lot about the franchise. And when you have when you have the ability to kind of pull people from within, guys that have kind of worked through the rungs of your team that have been successful, there I don't imagine very many names from the outside to be in contention. There are, obviously, there are obviously some very, very talented coaches on the market, Brian Flores, for example, being one of them. But I think that this was definitely kind of a no-brainer here. And 
I I've always been more of an offensive head coach guy as well. Seeing Arthur Smith made me really happy, and kind of Dan Quinn, who was a defense guy, it was pretty easy to realize that it was more Dan Quinn getting carried by the OC than anything else. And I think having an offensive head coach, especially Andy Reid, those those are kind of some of my doubts on Biennemi, but that's for a later episode. So so here's Rings, the here's the the 2012 the Saints offensive stats. So P. Mark P. Carmichael was the the head guy. Third and point four, second in yards, first in passing yards, first in passing touchdowns, uh, second in average yards per drive. Like they they were a great offense. Drew Brees led the league in passing that year, tied with Ben Roethlisberger. I mean, they had the worst defense in football, the second worst defense in football. Like the Saints' problem has always been they never had a good defense. Dennis Allen wasn't on the team this year. He was coaching the Raiders. I mean, P. Carmichael is a is a proven offensive play caller. Worked with Sean Payton for 16 years, and and honestly has the same upside as Sean Payton, but without the the emotional play calling. So uh, we're gonna miss Sean Payton a lot. But this is gonna bring a lot of continuity. And I don't, I don't think the Saints' coaching staff is gonna miss a beat with this hiring. They're gonna probably promote um, either uh, Chris Richard or. Um, Ryan Nielsen to DC, and it's going to be um, all perfect. And, and and maybe their offensive coordinator job will be open. Pete Carmichael may step down as OC and become more of a offensive uh, consultant. And you have a free agent offensive coordinator this season named Eric Bieniemy. So uh, who knows? The Saints' offense mm-hmm. could go a number of ways. It's still for, within the first twenty four hours of the of the Dennis Allen era. But um, honestly, I think the Saints will be fine for next season. 